a couple of folks who just ran Big Bird races today. Um, on my far left is Trent Briney, who just defended his title in the 10K. And in the middle here is Don Jackson, who just ran the 4K, and I think he did pretty well. Don, let's talk about your race a little bit. You're, you're kind of a behind-the-scenes guy. You're the guy who gets left at home when they go traveling around the world, <laughs> right? <laughs> Actually, that's not really the case. I get to go to an awful lot of things. I mean, I was at Boston last year. I was at Chicago this year. I've been to the Olympic trials before. I, I've, I've seen an awful lot. So, I, you know, people say that, you know, oh, you get left at home a lot. No, I don't. I mean, I get to go to a lot, a lot of things. Plus, local things like this that, you know, are great for, for our local running community to be able to see, you know, the athletes perform. So, so I get to see a lot. Well, I noticed this morning when you were warming up, you were wearing the, the, the new um, – black and yellow and red shoes. Can you tell us a little bit about those? I got a picture of them. Yeah, those are the T4s. A lot of the guys, actually, I'm running, you know, short stuff in those 4K, 5K mile road races. I'll run those in, but these guys can run those those shoes up to the marathon. It's a really light, responsive racing flat that, that is made by Brooks. They're, they're, uh, they're awesome, actually. And it's made by Brooks with a special name or the colors your colors for a reason, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. They actually, they uh, they kind of designed that shoe with the ODP in uh, in mind here, the Brooks Distance Hances pro project in mind. So, so yeah, it's the uh, like I said, T4 is what it's called. But yeah, it's they, they they actually have a couple of different colors. That one is the is the one with the the Hansons makeup. Well, that's pretty cool. That's almost right up there with Michael Jordan, isn't it? It's pretty close. <laughs> in in this sport, yeah, it is actually. It's it's really close to that. Well, tell us about the 4K race. You were one of the faster people finishing, although I don't know exactly where you were. You know what? I ran that race with blinders on. I, this this race for me is more of a tempo run. It's it's kind of a, you know, great opportunity for me to get out in the community and, and you know, see a lot of people that I see in the stores at Hanson's all the time and cheer for them in the 10K and then, you know, come out and see some of the kids in the mile and those kind of things. And the 4K for me, I just wanted to go out, you know, close to six-minute pace and see what I could what I could do. And, and I was able to catch a couple people even after that. So, so I was happy with that. I... I didn't really see what happened up front, although I hear from talking to Todd Kelly that there were a couple of guys ahead of him, and then the couple of guys ahead of him he caught, but a couple of guys behind him caught him coming in. So, so I guess places changed changed up a little bit there coming in. But I think it was a couple of high school kids who uh, beat Todd. Yeah, yeah, those couple of those high school kids that were coming off of a high school cross country season that was very successful for them. So, so you know. Yeah, they, and they put it to use. So, yeah. so Trent, you think you might be able to do a marathon before the trials? Uh, not according to my coaches. Oh, okay. I asked them. I asked them, and they want me to just kind of, you know, do some shorter stuff and work on strength as far as, you know, shorter, faster strength rather than the long marathon strength. Um, and just trust that, you know, I I've done a marathon before and had success, and I'll be able to do it again. And we have a good training program here, you know, with with 17 guys or whatever we have now in the Hansons Brooks Distance Project. Uh, I mean, we go out and beat the heck out of each other every day, so. I'm sure we'll be ready to go for a marathon. Well, Trent, good luck. And Don, it's nice to see you out and about. <laughs> Thanks for talking with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. We have here someone who ran the 4K this morning, and as I understand it, it was your first race. What's your name? My first race, Carol Reed, R-E-A-D. And where are you from, Carol? I'm from Grass Lake, Michigan. And tell us about your first race. Well, this is exciting. I just started running just more or less to kind of stay in shape. You know, when you get older, things kind of go south. <laughs> and my husband runs triathlons and half marathons and marathons. So I thought, well, maybe it's something for us to do together. So I just started running, and it's all, it really is mental. My body feels great, but running along, it's like, okay, just keep going, keep going. And it felt wonderful, you know, to, to, uh, to cross that finish line. And why did you pick the Big Bird 4K for your first race? Uh, you know, our friends Terry and Pam invited us uh, and said that they were going to go do it and Pam was going to do it. And I said, well, if Pam can do it, I can do it. She's <laughs> 13 years younger than I am, so I can do it. <laughs> well, it, it, you're right about running is uh, it is a mental game, and I don't think you really realize it until you get into it. What are some of the things you told yourself as you were running along this morning? Well, I kept thinking about my kids. I've got five of them, three of them do marathons, and, and we all kind of stay in shape. And I kept telling myself, I can do it, I can do it. And I live my life like that, saying, I can do it. And pretty much, you can pretty much do anything you want if you really want to do it bad enough. Well, Carol, I'll say you did it this morning. Thank you for talking with us. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
There you go. Yay, 126! Yay!